Hello, hello, hello. This message is for all my lovely soulmates in love. This is a soulmate love reading. Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Love Tarot with Brene. Okay. Yes, today I'm going to give you guys your inner love, uh, soulmate energy love reading. Okay. This is for all signs. You guys, only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest, okay? If it doesn't fit, you know you must have quit, okay? But this is definitely for soulmates, all signs. Um, please make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button as well. And let's get into it. I hope you guys have an amazing um, weekend as well, too, all my soulmates out there. Okay, and um, you had an amazing Easter with your family and friends, and that you guys are all tied up, okay, after coming off of this beautiful resurrection day. Today is April 5th, Monday, 2021. We're soulmates in love. You are with Real Love Carol with Renee. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me honest as honest is <laughs> give me honest messages for our soulmates out here what's the um current overall energy for soulmates in love give me all uh, messages you guys these messages are from the moonology oracle deck cards you can find the link onto um to the cards in the description below they are available on fc.com you could also find them on amazon.com Any messages, spirit? Thank you. I'll take this one. It's peeping his way out. Any more? Thank you. I'll take this one. Give me more. Thank you, spirit. Oh, it just went to pop over. Okay, nothing is yet set in stone. I this soulmate connection. Give me one more, spirit. I'll put these in one. Give me one more message, spirit. Okay, I see you want to pop your head off, so let's take it. Yeah, surrender to the divine. Hello. Mm -hmm. Full moon. Yeah, mutable moon. Could be dealing with a mutable sign. Mm -hmm. Balance, spirituality, and practicality in the situation. And um, your commitment is being tested right now. Ooh. Okay, soulmates. Okay. Let's get into it, all right, you guys. Soulmates in love. Who are the players, um, spirit, and this soulmate connection for the collective? Who are the players, spirit, for the collective? Mm -hmm. So right now, um, Spirit is telling you to surrender to the divine to this um, soulmate love connection, okay? Right? So some of you guys aren't surrendering um, and just like, you know what? Letting it go and just letting everything play out the way it's supposed to play out, right? And if you think that you're in an ending um, with your soulmate, um, yeah, Spirit is saying, nope. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mm -hmm, the world, but some, uh, but the only thing that is set in stone is the end of a cycle. The world card just popped out, mm -hmm. and that you need to rest and rejuvenate in this situation. Yeah. Hold on just a second. Mm -hmm. Give me more spirit. I'll take. Oh, okay, no, because that was too many spirits. Give me more spirit. Thank you, spirit. One more. Who are the players? Thank you, spirit. Mm. Yeah, you're single. Yeah, and you're a messenger. Speak your truth. Mm -hmm. So some of you guys are not in communication with your um your soulmate, right? Give me more spirit. Nope. 
Give me one. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. This love is unparalleled. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the star. Aquarian energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah. Fire sign. Mm -hmm. Leo, Aries, uh, Sagittarius energy on the board. Mm -hmm. So these are the players that you could be dealing with in love. Your soulmate. Give me more spirit. The things up here. Yeah. So you definitely need to rest and rejuvenate. And it's saying too, um, it said um, balance um, and the spiritual practicality needed to take place. Also the fact that you need to surrender to the situation. Yeah, I'm going to just spread these out like this. So I can just kind of get to them, revisit them. Mm -hmm. And that your commitment to this union is being tested, right? And it's probably being tested because like a lot of you guys are not in communication. And it is... I'm getting the energy strongly that is testing your strength and your will. Some of you guys are exhausted. And I'm going to just keep it at that while. You're exhausted at, you know, the uh, ups and downs and like the everything that is just taking you through in this connection, right? Absolutely. I understand. Been there, done that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but something has been completing. Uh, a, a completion is here for sure. A new cycle is going to definitely start or whatever. Somebody could be traveling to you as well to bring this a union together with your soulmate. For those of you who are um, not in union with your soulmate, that's not for everybody. That's for some. Yeah, could be dealing with the Capricorn. Here's the other players. Um, that's Earth Energy, Aries. There's Fire. Yeah, and the Midway... Um, the line between opposite extremes. You guys could be completely different too, which is also a part of the, the situation. Dealing with the Sagittarius, more fire on the board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your soulmate could be uh, um, with fire. It could be also a Leo too. Capricorn, Aquarius. Give me more spirit. Clarify the world. Yeah. Water energy. Mm-hmm. Let me put these up here. Yeah. But you wanted to, it's like you or your person want to speak. Somebody has something to say. Water energy is on the board. Mm -hmm. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Are they um, inviting any of these um, signs in you or your person's chart? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Judgment. Somebody is facing karma of some sort. Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody's also um could be um gaining clarity about the situation you guys. Yeah, that this is actually a spiritual partnership. Mhm. Mm yeah. Soulmate. This is a soulmate reading. It, uh, it's only making sense. Thank you, Spirit, for all these clarifications. Yeah. For some of you guys have decided to just be alone and develop your craft because you don't know what else to do in this situation but that. Okay? And yeah, Leo on the board. Yeah. They're, all the fire signs are here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All the fire signs are on the board. Woo! That's heavy. That's heavy. Capricorn, we got double energy here. Yeah, High Priestess and somebody's highly intuitive about the situation that you guys are currently in. Yeah, I'm going to put that with water. Let me just move it up here. Yeah, you guys. Somebody's helpful in this situation when the star card, I like seeing the star card because like you guys can turn this around, but if you're not talking, but yeah, that's not good. Thank you, Spirit. Or just be, y'all see how they be flipping out. Yeah, somebody wants a rebirth. Didn't I just say somebody's not talking? Yeah, you want a rebirth. Whatever happened, you want to start up. They, you both, either you or your person or both of you guys want to start up from scratch. Okay, Spirit. Well, well let's just take them, okay? Because <laughs> you clearly got something to say. Yeah. There, we got an empress on the board. Hello, Libra energy. Yep, if somebody's making sacrifices to come to, to bring this together, right? 
gossipers, the way others view you is none of your business. Yeah, that could have caused a delay in this uh, soulmate union. Uh-huh, you're um, rec beginning to recognize who you are. Somebody's coming out of hermit mode, right? Heavy contemplation, gaining clarity about the situation, right? And fear is what's making you question it for you or your person. Yeah. I love when I see the Empress pop out because that just clarifies like this spiritual union, right? Listen, the Empress embodies all the queens, all the love, money, abundance, um, generosity, just overall nurturing like the empress is everything i'm glad that she popped her face out in this soulmate reading because like it just clarifies that this is a true soulmate reading like you can't even make it up and when you have spiritual partnership right there yeah somebody's making sacrifices though for this union but it's been in heavy contemplation with the hermit mode card coming out here they've been in hermit mode trying to figure out how to bring clarity as well because you have um the judgment card out here as well yeah facing judgment in this situation yeah manifesting being a magician yeah wanting to speak their truth right mm -hmm. they're manifesting you or your person both of you guys give me more thank you spirit mm -hmm. yeah Somebody wants to take a new direction. More like a leap of faith in this situation. Yeah. And for some of you guys, you've decided to leave the connection. And you really are taking a new direction. Take it how it resonates. Yeah. Give me more spirit. Thank you. Repentance. Yeah. Somebody wants to come in and apologize. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, those are for you who aren't talking. Could be dealing with the Libra. And look, Libra and fire have been going head to head for the longest time. I need somebody to break their day on silence. Look at me. I'm one to talk. <laughs> Listen, but I did tell the Libras in the Libra readings to stand their ground. But that was just for that specific reading because the just the way everything was coming out it was just like this fire sign if, if it was the fire sign that uh was being impulsive and that type of thing they were the one who need to come forward right but it, you know at the same time you have free will whoever decides to be the bigger person right they get tired of being the bigger person right but sometimes you also have to stand your ground and just not go for the okie doke whatever yeah give me more spirit for soulmates in love see you want to pop out go ahead yeah somebody's coming the chariot Yep. Somebody's about to come on their chariot, all emotional, apologizing, wanting to make it right. I can't make it up. Mm hmm. Wanting a rebirth. Wanting a rebirth. You guys see it. And is making some sacrifice to do it, to make it right with this empress. Libra energy, and we have Libra on the board. Yeah, and it could be one of these fire size Leo Aries Sagittarius. Yeah, that's what's going on. That's what's going on. If this is your story, let me know. Or it could be a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Or Aquarius. Yeah, but somebody's definitely manifesting with this magician card. Yeah. Something has been illuminated or whatever. They've been in heavy contemplation about this connection. And your person wants to heal this. You and your person wants to heal this. Tired of being left out in the cold. Yeah. Some of you guys are just fed up and, ooh, and can't take no more. And you're just like, you know what? But hold on, because I had like 
and I see what they are too. Oh my goodness, these flew way across the room. <laughs> yeah, somebody wants to come in with a message of truth. They've gone within and they want a second chance. They're coming out of codependency. Mm -hmm. Or they were codependent in the past, which caused you guys to not be uh, together in the first place. Could have had any type of addiction, drug addiction, um, gossip addiction, right? Because, you know, the car came out. What other people think of you is none of your business. So if they allow um, others to come in between this union and your relationship, um, yeah, that's that's a problem. Look, it's right here. Yeah, the way others view you is none of your business. Codependency, that's devil energy. Mm -hmm. You let, allow people to be in your ear, whispering in your ear, um, telling you about who you should be with, who you shouldn't be with, and meddling, you know what I'm saying? That's a problem. That's also a codependent behavior. You know, a lot, that's because allowing other people to control you that's called dependency. Why do you do that? Some people really operate that way too. Give me more spirit. Any more messages, spirit? Thank you, spirit. I'll see you when I flip back. Whoop. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to come in on this chariot and propose marriage, love. Yep, they had a change of heart for sure. They gone within whatever beliefs that they had before. They, yeah, whatever beliefs that they had before with new direction being here on the board too. Mm -hmm. They're changing it and they're and they and they have a new perspective on the situation. They've gone within um with the hermit mode. Be from being in hermit mode. Yeah. That that's exactly what that is. Can't make it up. You know, spirit ain't gonna lie on you and neither was me. Right? All right, okay, but well, don't do all that on camera. <laughs> oh collective oh my goodness babies i hope if you guys are um you know i recommend that you if you really want this union to work you want to make this right you know for some of you guys self-work needs to be done okay and that's just keeping it a thou wow okay and, you know, it's nothing wrong with getting um, counseling, you know what I'm saying, to fix this connection as well. Because for some of you guys, that's what it's going to take. Yeah. That's definitely what it's going to take. Okay. You guys, these are um, manifestation soul cards, soulmate cards. This is from the Universal Deck um, Tarot Cards Deck. And we're just going to give you like positive um, soulmate affirmations and manifestations, right? I said the reason it hurts um, so much to separate is because our souls are connected. Yes, this is how your person is feeling. You are your person. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what's going on. Yep. Yeah. And I'll also hear it says, paint your dreams. Life is art. Paint your dreams. Sing songs. Um, enjoy the dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what you need to do. Get creative. Get creative with your manifestations. Yes. It says, according to Greek mythology, humans are originally um, created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves. For those of you who, yeah, twin flame, soulmate. Hello. Yeah. Some of you guys cannot be without your person. Like you're like, for some of you, I feel the energy like you feel like you're damn near close to death. Baby breathe i've been there it is the worst feeling on earth it almost like want to bring tears to my eyes like i can feel the emotion and the energy like it really does 
Yeah, like it says, the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. It's like you feel like you're missing the other part, like a, a major piece of your soul. It says your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Yeah, somebody has to come in and make a change. The chariot card was out earlier. Somebody's coming to do it. Yeah. Give me more spirit. Give me so much more soulmate manifestation cards for the collective. Thank you. It says, stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. Okay. These are for you who feel like you, the reason why you're not with your soulmate is because you're not good enough. And that's not true. This is your soulmate. You're definitely good enough or whatever but you know if you're dealing with past life traumas and things like that traumas from uh, past relationships with karmics and things like that this will make you feel that way that you're not good enough and you know any type of mental verbal physical abuse will make you feel that way and that's simply just not the truth okay so I need you guys to get out of that energy and that way of thinking it's just not healthy and it does not help you catapult forward to who you're meant to be with in love, okay? It says, when you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, and no agitation. Absolutely not. Because if you feel anything other than that, you're dealing with a karmic soulmate, most likely. But a karmic or a karmic and not necessarily a soulmate. Because let me, let me just correct that. Because you could be dealing with a... You could have a karmic soulmate who you are supposed to be with. So karmic doesn't always mean like in the most negative sense, okay? A karmic um, soulmate could also be somebody who's like, you know, brought to you, everyone, you're gonna learn lessons in everyone that you come into communication with, right? Or come into contact with and build relationships and things like that. But sometimes you're just with a bad karmic who you, uh, who could also embody a false person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, which is like in some of the readings, you, you have the false mask pop. Okay, now, hear it. You have a person wearing a false mask the whole time. And they're just your, or the, you could come across your false twin, right? Yeah. And sometimes when you, um, when you encounter those type of people, um... It gives it leaves you hopeless in a situation, unfortunately. Yeah, give me more messages for soulmates in love, and then I'm gonna let you guys go. Okay, <laughs> spirit be like, I'm saying it. <laughs> life is great, big life is a great big canvas. The um the paint on it, you can right. Yeah, you can. Paint it to whatever you want it to be. It's the choice is yours. You always have a choice, right? These are beautiful. I love how colorful these uh, manifestation cards are. You guys are so beautiful. And very positive too, okay? And it says, never make permanent decisions on t temporary feelings. Hello. People do it all the time. We do it as humans. We're human beings, but we do it all the time. We get emotional, impulsive behavior, and we make the wrong decisions. And then we are sitting in grief and regret later afterwards. Like, what in the freak did I just do? I just did that to, oh my God, why would I do this to the person that I love? But people do it all the time. Yeah. It says, follow love when you are ready, not when you are lonely. Mm-hmm. Which we fall into that too. But that's called dependency behavior. Hello. All right, loves. Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Love Tarot for your soulmate love reading. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure if this resonated with you and that you feel this energy uh, to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Okay? And if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel please feel free to do so at Real Love Tarot via Cash App. And you can find the Cash App link in the description below. Thanks, loves, and be good. Bye.